GE to improve power electric management systems. Google to improve mirror technology for solar thermal plants. And a new design for a BMW hydrogen fuel cell motorcycle. This is the Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Monday, March the 1st. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. General Electric has announced a new initiative to improve systems that convert DC electricity to AC power. The company is already increasing their research teams in the U.S. and China, and has recently announced plans to invest money in labs in Munich, Germany. Power electronics typically refers to management systems that convert different electrical frequencies, such as diodes and semiconductors that turn DC into AC power. The increase of renewable energy generation, which produces DC electricity, has created a bigger need for solutions that convert the DC power into AC for transmissions along power lines. The devices need to be more efficient and compact than existing models, and GE feels like it's up to the task. Google has announced that they have developed a new mirror technology that would help cut the costs of a solar thermal plant by almost 50%. Google has been researching the viability of using unusual materials for the mirror's reflective surface and have also performed many tests on the mirror mounts. For those that don't know, solar thermal technology is using the sun's energy to heat a substance that produces steam to run a turbine. The mirrors that Google is trying to improve help concentrate the sun's rays on the heated substance to get the maximum energy generation possible. If successfully proven, the technology could be ready to go in one to three years. And finally, BMW has recently received a new motorcycle design that's powered by hydrogen fuel cells from design students at ISD University in France. The motorcycle is still in concept, but the vision includes a lithium polymer battery to store electrical energy, a cryogenic tank to store the hydrogen where the engine is usually located, and a 100 kilowatt motor to provide propulsion. Fuel cell research is expected to reach $4 billion in 2010, and it's expected that more than half a million fuel cell light vehicles will be sold annually by 2020. So it only makes sense that BMW would continue to look at designs that included this up-and-coming technology. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Please visit dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.